Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be looking at finding the slope or gradient from a line segment. We'll be looking at from a graph as well as from an equation in slope intercept form and standard form and then we'll be constructing the equation of a line from the given information which will be the slope and the y intercept. So I'll be showing this using certain problems of a worksheet. Alright, so here is the first problem. I need to find the slope of this line. However, notice that there are some dots, there are some points located on this line. This point would not be a nice point because I cannot tell exactly what y value that is. So that would not be a good point. It's very important that you understand what a good or nice point is when you find a slope. Once you have nice points, like in this problem, you will start at the leftmost point and you will count one, two, three to get into the row of the point and then you'll move one, two to the right. I went up or I rose three units and then I ran two units. As a reminder, M represents slope and the slope will be rise over run. All right, so we can see that we rose one, two, three units and then we run one, two units. So that's how we get this three over two. All right, so that's the slope. Also notice this is a positive slope. We went up, so that was positive three, and we went towards a positive um, direction in the X, so that's why we have a positive two there, and that is the slope for that problem. All right, so here is another equation but notice this one slopes negatively and we're starting with the high point notice to get in the row with the second point um, I'll have to go down I go down one two three units so my rise is actually a four so I denote that by negative and that will be negative three and my run is two units so that will be negative three over two so this slope here is negative 3 over 2. And again, these are nice points because um, the grids intersect perfectly with the graph. And the graph is the blue line, right? By the way, um, I thought I will share this with you. This guy here will be equivalent to negative... 3 over 2. It's also equivalent to 3 over negative 2. So all three of these are saying the same thing. I just thought I might let you know that as well. But as we speak specifically to this slope, um, we'll use this one, right? But all three of these um, are the same. I thought I might throw that in because that is very important to know. All right, we're going to look at number five. And here we do not have the nice points highlighted for us. And so we will have to find these nice points on our own. And we need to find points that intersect perfectly with the grid. So here is a nice one. Here is a nice point. And here is a nice point. Now note, sometimes you will find more than one nice point. In this case, we can only see two. But if you find more than one, you just need to use two. You just need to use two of them. All right, so here we'll go up one, two, three, 
four five units right so our rise will actually be five units positive and our run after we rise will be two so the slope is five over two right so this is a slope um, these slopes must always be in lowest terms but improper fraction is is fine you know you can have improper fraction here you should not change it to a mixed number improper fraction is just fine where you can see clearly rise over run all right the instruction is still the same for number 10 we're still finding the slope or the gradient of the line segment this time in number 10 through 15 as you can see here we are given equations number 10 is in slope intercept form so you can tell the slope and the y intercept so slope intercept form generally is y equal m x plus b and so my slope is the coefficient of x so my slope m in this case is going to be negative 1 over 3 and we're done with that one we can quickly do number 11 m is equal to negative 1 negative 1 is a slope and that's the same as negative 1 divided by 1 Notice when you look at number 13, we cannot quite look and tell the slope right away. We have to get it in slope intercept form if we want to just be able to look and tell. There are many ways to do this. However, I'm going to show you in the same way that I did number 10 and number 11. That's how I want to this, do this one. But I need to get it in slope intercept form first. So we're going to solve for y. So we're going to subtract 4x from both sides. And so we'll have negative 5y. Those cancel. Is equal to negative 4x. Right? Of course, the 0 is still there. So we could do plus 0. And then we're not quite there. Now we have negative 5y. We need to have y equal mx plus b so we're going to divide um, both sides by negative 5 and I'm going to divide each term by negative 5 that's right and then I'm just going to clean that up so I'm going to have y is equal to 4 over 5 x minus 0 all right, so we can see that m, the slope, is equal to 4 over 5. So the rise is 4 and the run is 5. The y-intercept is 0, right? So this is a slope right here, m equal 4 over 5. So whenever it's in standard form or a form other than slope intercept form you just need to solve for y and after solving for y you arrange it in the form y equal mx plus b and then you will have your slope intercept form where you can tell the slope of the equation now we're going to do the last two problems here last two problems for this set I'm going to be doing number 17 and number 18 it says write the slope intercept form of the equation of each line given the slope and y intercept so here we have slope or m equal to 9 over 5 and b equal to 4 so since y is equal to mx plus plus b then we'll have y is equal to 9 over 5 x plus 4 and that's it that's all we have to do so literally in this case like number 18 we can simply say y 
equal m, m is 1, the slope is 1, x plus b, and b is 4. So we can literally just go through that step straight away. But I wanted to show you how it worked with number 17, so I wanted to show you that. So this is it. This is how you write the equation of a line given the slope and the y-intercept. Earlier you saw how to get the slope from an equation and also how to get the slope from a line segment or line. All right, so gentle folks, it was wonderful to be able to give you this lesson. Um, take care. Goodbye.